Well, although losing weight may seem like a simple concept, many get frustrated when the pounds aren't coming off. And here to answer all of our weight loss questions is 2 News fitness expert Wes Cole. It's good to be back with you, Wes. It is. So tell us, David is wa walking effective for weight loss. It's the only kind of cardio he likes to do. Well, the thing about it is, is a lot of people enjoy walking, yeah. but there's like this myth that you have to do a lot of high intensity sure. to, to lose a lot of weight. There's multiple studies showing that high intensity exercise isn't necessarily mandatory for weight loss. Okay. It's really calories in, calories out. I love walking. Walking is one of the few exercises where it's great for someone that's advanced. It's also great for beginners. I get a lot of people that are very deconditioned and you get, all, you get someone that's very out of shape on a treadmill and they go at a slow pace, they can still burn a tremendous amount of calories and they can do it safely. Whereas if yeah. you took someone that was maybe a little out of shape, running or jogging right off the bat, they could injure themselves. Walking is terrific. You might have to do it a little bit longer sure. than running, but without a doubt, and you can alternate it too. You can have a couple times a week where you run real fast and maybe do some light walking in between. It's good to mix it up. You know, and that is what I really do believe that too. You know, you have to get out there and run really mm -hmm. hard, but you know, that is interesting. Yeah, Just walk a little have longer. Have some light days sometimes. Sure, all right. All right, here's our next question. It's from Kate. Will walking with dumbbells or adding some resistance to my cardio give me the same benefit as lifting weights? That's a good question. Unfortunately not. You know, uh, any, any anything that you can do, you see a lot of people, you know, walking with their weights. Anything you can do, lift for 30, 40 minutes straight, that's, you're really working in the, the intermediate, the little endurance fibers. Okay. It's going to build capillary density, it's going to build muscle endurance, but it's really not going to build the growth and the, and the strength. If you want bone density, if you want to build some muscle, same rules apply, 8 to 12 reps, and you can't fool yourself in the weight room either. I see people that lift weights, and they do 12 reps of, say, lunges, and I know they could have done 12 more. You can't be afraid to lift a little bit heavier right. if you want to get stronger. Traditional weight training is the way to go. Be safe, but 8 to 12 reps, and just make sure you're challenging yourself, but you got to really separate cardio from weight training, in my opinion. So if you do, I mean, 8 to 12 reps, you want to probably repeat that too. Yeah, you yeah, want to repeat a it a, yeah, a couple sets, but more importantly, you got to make sure that you're really pushing yourself. You know, weight training is very different than endurance type activities, and if you're not struggling on that last rep, okay, you know, you're really you're really working more cardio than you are strength training. And like I said, if, once you start really separating weight training from cardio, that's when you really start seeing the real results. All right, and that is good to know because I know a lot of that the, some of the new diets and exercises you're doing the cardio and combining it, combining and it with the high intensity, and you have a lot of the circuits which is maybe great for fat loss, but eventually, if, if strength and muscle um, gain is really what you want, eventually you'll have to kind of specialize a little bit. All right, that is good to know. I'm glad to hear that. All right, here's the, our last question from Jill. She says, I'm dieting religiously and exercising every day, but the scale isn't budging. Is there no way this can be just genetic? Most likely not. I get so many people come in to me frustrated. They've tried yeah. for years to lose weight, and they, they can't, and they swear that it's maybe something genetic. The thing about it is, if you're if you're able to be heavy in a, and you're in a caloric deficit, that's defying laws of thermodynamics. That's just that's just simply just impossible scientifically. Yeah. Most people, they're just not accurate enough. They said the average American underestimates their daily caloric intake by 1,000 a day, which wow. means if you if you think you're getting in 2,000, you're most likely getting in three. So like I said, be a little bit more accurate. People go, what are you doing differently? I'm just being a lot more precise with the diet. Sure. And once you start, the attention is in the details when it comes to the results. And once you start getting real specific, writing everything down, being real honest, with how many calories you think you're burning when you're exercising, I guarantee magical things happen. A thousand calories yeah. off. That's yeah. an incredible stat, just that. And, and you know, like I said, it's easy to do. Remember, one eight ounce can of soda has about 160 calories. So, you know, you take a couple, you know, cans of soda down, you don't even really consider that a meal. It can add up quickly. Well, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate your time. If you have a question you'd like Wes to answer, you can go to our Facebook page, KJRH TV, and post it on our wall. Or you can call Wes, 749-0960, or visit his gym on 46th, just east of Sheridan.